I don't think it can be said enough over and over. It must be said over and over. And I wish more national broadcasters and programs would keep reminding people that Trump is a fucking Nazi. Uh, he is, he is here to destroy democracy in this country for his own benefit. Putin is his mentor. Putin, Orban, all of these crazy fuckers who are fascists at heart. Uh, I think about the election, so called. I use the term like I would say the word vomit. Um, in Russia over the weekend, 77%, according to the Russians, uh, government, 77% of eligible voters turned out to the polls, and 87% of them voted for their loving, glorious leader, the dictator Vladimir Putin. Of course, a lot of people were arrested and, and, uh, Dye was poured into certain uh, voting boxes, or whatever the hell they're called, in the backward ass country of Russia. Such a shame, such a shame. Russia is such a vast, vast country. And over the course of history, at least since the uh, 1600s, has provided the rest of the world with art, uh, uh, music, theater, dance, science. And now it's under the clammy grasp of this little mental midget, Vladimir Putin, who happens to be Trump's God, idol. <sighs> anyway, um, on Saturday, he was at a, uh, at a rally, one of his Nazi-style rallies near Dayton, Ohio. And he claimed that he... <laughs> Don't laugh. I shouldn't laugh either. But the orange bastard said that he, not Joe Biden, that he will protect Social Security. <laughs> oh, okay. And he warned of a bloodbath. I know you've heard this all weekend. I know. I understand. But this is the kind of shit that has to be repeated over and over and over again. The Trump lies and deception and grift and and filth has been repeated endlessly over and over. And every single fucking network, including MSNBC, keeps giving this Nazi son of a bitch airtime, airtime, airtime. They cover his rallies. Uh, they let him they show videos that he put up on his toy social media platform. Why the fuck are they doing this? Why is CNN doing it? Why is MSNBC? Why ABC, CBS, NBC? Look, Trump has one sewer where he can put all this shit up, and that's on Fox. But it's almost, well, not almost, it is, it is a fact that the other so-called legitimate networks are aiding and abetting Trump as he forces the big lie into the unconscious and the conscious minds of Americans. It's there all the time. It's like fucking watching Big Brother, like something out of 1984. I don't care where you go. I don't care what you do. You will see videos of Trump preaching this filth, this these lies, his plan on being dictator for a day and the bloodbath that is going to occur if he is not elected president. And it doesn't make any difference what happens on November 5th. It doesn't. If Trump loses by 15 million votes, he's going to start farting and wheezing and hauling his misshapen body around the country screaming about fraud. They stole it again. And if he wins, that's time, I think, for people who can to people who have the means to just buy a goddamn airplane ticket and put everything in storage, it might be time to leave this country because it will be. I, I don't believe in cut, cut and run. I, I really don't. But what's the alternative? To get out my Air 15 and, and start practicing it out here in the woods behind the Daniel Scappin studio? Is that what I'm supposed to do? <laughs> like I had an AR-15. Well, he was in Ohio campaigning for one of his little drones, 
his trolls, a guy named Bernie Moreno, who is a Senate candidate there. And he was giving his little Nazi speech on an airfield outside of Dayton on Saturday. Um, And he said that Bernie Marino, about which I will fucking guarantee you Trump knows nothing, but he called him America first champion, political outsider who has spent his entire life building up Ohio communities. He's going to be a warrior in Washington. Well, um, Marino, this doofus, just stood there sucking up the praise. He Certainly, Marino knows that when he loses his bid to become a senator from Ohio, Trump won't even know his fucking name. Trump doesn't know his name now. But for the moment, Marino gets to stand and, and enjoy the backwash of Trump's filth that Trump is so willing to splash all over this guy because the however many it was, several hundred, several thousand people who showed up for another Nuremberg rally were screaming and screeching and applauding and and nudging each other and and yaying for their Messiah. There's a Republican primary tomorrow in Ohio. And Mr. Marino faces two people, Secretary of State and a state senator. The Secretary of State along with this nobody, Bernie Marino, have sworn their allegiance with the pro-Trump faction of the Republican Party. Now, I'm using the language put out there by the Associated Press because there is no pro-Trump faction of the Republican Party because, very simply, as you know, there is no Republican Party. It doesn't exist. It really, truly doesn't. There is a Christian fascist party that is owned outright by the Orange Antichrist, period, E-O-M, all right? Uh, The other guy, state senator Matt Dolan, is backed by people who think that they are establishment Republicans, including the, the governor Mike DeWine. Poor old Mike DeWine, oh my God. He, he just, he looks like, Somebody that you knew in, in seventh grade who was just constantly picked on by the bigger boys. Doesn't Mike DeWine look that way? He's such a snarfy little creature. And then the former senator there, Rob Portman. So DeWine and Portman are backing Dolan because DeWine and Portman think there is a Republican Party left. What do they need to show them their party is is dead And then the rally this past Saturday was hosted by a wildly misnamed organization called Buckeye Values. What are Buckeye Values? Is it grabbing women by the crotch? Is it rape? Is it doing business fraudulently for 30 or 40 years? Is it lying? Is it trying to overthrow the government? Is it participating in insurrection? Are those Buckeye values? I was fucking born in the Buckeye state. I have in a little bowl in my apartment eight Buckeyes that I have retained for as long as I can remember because it reminds me of home. <laughs> Buckeye values. Um, Now, Buckeye values, of course, loves their filthy criminal leader, Donald Trump, and they love his little butt boy for the moment anyway, Bernie Moreno. But rather than talking about all the good things Moreno is going to do, Trump used the stage to deliver a profanity-filled version of of his usual bullshit speech that once again Trump paints this apocalyptic picture of the country if Biden wins the second term. Profanity laced speech. Hmm. Um, among the things that he said, and I don't have all the profanity here. 
He said, quote, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole. Well, that's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the whole country. Now, he's claimed that all he meant was to be a bloodbath for the auto industry. <laughs> and then he said he was going to he's going to have a 100 percent tariff on cars imported into this country. Oh, give me a fucking break. And then the crowd went wild. Of course, these assholes from Ohio <laughs> were sh- the, the, the Trump supporters. I don't mean everybody in Ohio is an asshole. But the assholes who attend these Nuremberg-style rallies for Donald Trump, they went wild. They screamed. They cheered. They, they clapped. And not understanding that if even if he were to be elected, even if he did try to impose a 100% tariff on cars coming into this country, that would affect their jobs because all of a sudden there would be no auto industry in the United States because other countries would retaliate. So these dumb fucks who are standing there in a windswept airfield cheering this Nazi wannabe, they're cheering the guillotine coming down on the backs of their own necks. Insane. But this is what happens when you... Uh, Remember what Ram Das said, in order to find a perfect master, you've got to be willing to become a perfect slave. Hi, True Seekers. Mike Malloy here. You know, the Progressive Voices Network brings you commercial-free commentary from today's leading progressive radio hosts and pundits, like me, Mike Malloy, 24 hours a day. I'm not your typical old guy from the 80s or the 90s talk radio host, and Progressive Voices is not your typical talk radio network. It's a listener-supported nonprofit with no corporate control whatsoever over our broadcast. So hosts like me, Mike Malloy, are free to rant and scream and carry on about whatever we like. We're often controversial, but we're never boring. Weeknights, 9 p.m. in the East, 6 p.m. in the West, on the Progressive Voices Network. Always progressive, always on. I'm Mike Malloy. Keep it lit.